road trip time, got my chocolate, downloaded my playlist, including the app and audio guide to the self-drive Golden Quest Discovery Trail, a 965k trail that starts here in Coolgardie, a decent seven hour drive from Perth, traveling through Kalgoorlie and all the way up to Laverton. If you can, spend a week. Discover history, ghosts, gold, nature, art, as you have never seen them before, and meet the characters, gold. And if you like to chat to a local like me, it could take even longer. Actually, I am a local, born and bred here with the Shire of Coolgardie stamped on my bottom, as my mother would like to say. So, welcome to my patch. And this is stop one. And look at this stunning piece of architecture, a reminder of the money that was made when they struck gold. It's home to the visitor centre. And if you're lucky, you may find this fella. Vic Dale is a bush poet and longtime Coolgardie resident. He is a walking Wikipedia of the goldfields. He also knows a thing or two about bottles, which is handy because the first stop on the Golden Quest Discovery Trail is also home to the Waghorn Bottle Collection, the largest of its kind in Australia. Vic, is it true this is the biggest collection of bottles in Australia? It is the biggest in the Southern Hemisphere. Really? Yep, my word. Uh, worth about 450000 What's so special about them? Can't find them. Oh, how about you when you walk around here? Is there anything? Oh, I have to tell you this story. It's true, it's true, it's true. But the bottle with the marbles, that's how we played marbles as kids. We had to break them, get the marble out, and so we would go to school with a big bag full of marbles. It all came out of those bottles. On the ground floor of the museum is the story of one of the most courageous mine rescues in history. Flash flooding, a miner trapped, dive suits rushed by train from Perth, a call for help. What is a dive suit doing in the middle of Coolgardie? It represents the greatest act of bravery ever, under, ever undertaken underground in the mines in Australia. So what happened? Flooded mine, flooded mine. And uh, they've got everyone out, got them out quickly, but after they counted them, one man was missing, still down there. This man here, Verashetti. So how'd they get him out? They put an SOS out, got divers who were working in the mines, all came and contributed. It took days, slowly pumping the water out, but eventually they got through to him and were able to bring him out. When you're finished in the museum, head up the hill for one of the Goldfield's best Devonshire teas. You like that, don't you? Mm-hmm, right. <laughs> well, you're in luck. Warden Finity's house. Beautiful house, uh, constructed for the most important man on the goldfields in his day. Local stone, local timber, beautiful inside, courtroom around the side. Oh, and is a local judge? Yes, he was. And he was the only judge. Um, so if you did something wrong, you were caught up with Finity. You would be speaking to him over the bench. So what's the house used for nowadays? What's in there now? Um, well, we have um, a lovely caretaker here today and a lot of tourists come through to see it. And it is, has been fully restored, you know, to, it, to its heyday. It's a lovely step back in time. It's got a pretty good view, old Warden Finish, did not he? Wonder if he had scones this good though back then. Now, if you want to follow us on the Golden Quest Discovery Trail, then all you need to do is uh, check out the details on this website. And can you see that hill in the background out there, the blue one? That's actually where we're headed. That is part of the super pit at Kalgoorlie Boulder. So, I will see you then. Mm. <laughs>